welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new collection video for you guys. It has been a minute since I've done this, man. It has been so long since I have done an in-depth collection video on various superstars. And while I was going through the room tour, it made me realize, and actually a couple people hit me up saying, you know, it's been a while since you did those collection videos. It's been like years and years since I did collection videos on certain superstars in my personal collection of these guys. And one of my most thorough, one of my most unique action figure collections that I have of WWE superstars has to be Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is a guy that I really enjoy. I have enjoyed his work for years now. He is fantastic. Probably one of the best current day wrestlers in the world and definitely one of the best that WWE has. But over the years, I have collected an ish ton of Seth Rollins elites. You're not going to find any basics in this video, man. This is all WWE elite Seth Rollins figures. We do have the ultimate coming this year, which I'm excited about. But in this video, I will be taking you through every single elite Seth Rollins that is in my collection and we're going to detail all of them man you got some unique customs in here some crazy fix-ups things that you've never seen before I'm sure when it regards to Seth Rollins elites and action figures so let's shut the hell up man let's dive into it we're going to go all the way through I'd appreciate it if somebody would count them so challenging everyone down below if you guys want to stay till the very end watch to the very end count up every Seth Rollins that we have and let me know down in the comment section below also leave me your favorite Seth Rollins that we see in this video but let's get into it man should be a long one. Let's get into it. Let's I gotta start off with front and center right here man. This is the Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins Elite Custom made by yours truly right here. I don't remember what I was doing but I was sitting there one day I think I was watching Toy Story or I was doing something. Me and this household you should see my son's room. This was before my son was even thought of though when I made this figure I'm pretty sure or my wife was pregnant I think with our son when I made this. But I was looking at it one day and I said dude the, the SR, the Space Ranger logo could stand for Seth Rollins and then my mind just started churning. Oh my god, entrance gear, this, that. And then you gotta throw in the custom head skull by BEW right there with the pissed off Seth Rollins. This is the best Seth Rollins in my collection, or at least a lot of people will probably tell you that, but we went with the glove tans, even got the stuff on the sides. I mean, this is a beautiful figure. Even got the details on the vest there that says Rollins on his nameplate. I mean, we left no stone unturned with this figure and I'm very, very happy with it. I love this figure. Probably one of my favorite customs that I have in my collection. Speaking of, we do have the Punisher Seth Rollins. I think I saw somebody on 2K Creations, like Community Creations. I looked up Seth Rollins Fantasy Gear and like this Punisher gear came up. I think the only thing different about my gear is I added the Punisher skull to the knee pad down there, but I did uh, I did the white and black kick pads. You have these panels on the sides with the SR and the black and white, and then I did make the custom vest here. Really wish that I had the time to spend on customs that I used to. Man, I used to do so many customs and I'd like to get back to it. But this uh, this Punisher Rollins is very fire. I love it. I love the way the skull looks on the on the vest. It just completes the look. I love that Rollins right there. Next up, we have another custom Seth Rollins. This is going to be a fantasy gear made by Burnout Inc. or Chase from Burnout Inc., a channel that definitely inspired me, but it's very cool. It's got like blue and black and white. Nice contrast in here. Nice colors. White outsoles. Very clean custom. I commissioned this from him like years ago, but I approached him with it, and he's, he's so clean with his customs that I knew that he would knock it out of the park. So I went with that and I, I like this one. That's an underrated one. I don't feel like we've seen that one a whole lot here on the channel. Next up is a 2015 Seth Rollins custom made by me. I do have the WWE Championship on there. I took an Elite 37 vest and I painted that up and then I did put some gold dust or Rey Mysterio I can't remember glove tans in there to really give it that detail. And then I even put basic smaller open knee pads on there and I even painted the gold on the kick pads and it really comes together. This is a, a figure that I wish Mattel would give us. They've never given us like a definitive gold kick pad 2015 Rollins. That is something I'd like to see from Mattel. Maybe an ultimate down the line or something but that that's a figure that I love. Up next another custom Seth Rollins. We have this sort of fantasy gear. Kind of combining old Rollins with new Rollins. I gave him like some lime green and volt green details in his hair to tie into the like Tron attire and then I gave him gloves here. I know it says AJ Styles on there but I think in the fantasy timeline they were tag team partners like kind of imagining that, but he's got the glove look like he used to and I, I like that one. That was another underrated custom, I think. Next up is an Elite 45 fix-up. We have the uh, kind, of, kind of the fan takeover Elite 75 head sculpt on the Elite 45, and I put Rey Mysterio gauntlets and gloves on here, and I think, I, 
didn't they make like a pop vinyl or maybe i think he was thinking about wearing gloves with this gear but then he ended up not doing it but he did have it in the promo shots or something but the elite 45 rollins is one of my favorite rollins ever and this this all white look is clean with the gloves i, I like the way that looks. we have a fix up seth rollins right here this is the top talents rollins but i took an elite 37 vest and threw that on there and then i put on the elite 86 head sculpt kind of a wild fix up but you know it's pretty cool it's got the knee pad on there again you're gonna see you're gonna see some figures in this video that you're like where the hell is that like did you just combine a bunch of figures together and the answer is most likely yes next up is the most recent elite we got from mattel it is the elite 99 with the beautiful jacket i love this figure man i i cannot wait to get multiples of this figure because we're gonna do the same thing that we've done with all these rollins with this rollins and we're gonna do fix up heaven and do all kinds of crazy stuff with these kick pads and everything it's gonna be a fun one i can't wait next up is a suited rollins actually we have a couple suited rollins there uh, i think there's three different suited rollins in here but we have kind of a monday night messiah one before he went to drip rollins here he's got the man bun custom oh my god in heaven this is a custom head sculpt on here i think this arm always had trouble but i think this is a build a figure michael cole and then i put the gloves hand on there custom head sculpt made by bw with the man bun pretty cool fix up elite rollins right there i don't know why that damn arm won't stay on pissing me off and then the other rollins we have is the doc hendricks build a figure with the double jointed arms in the pink suit i hope to get multiples of this doc hendricks because i want to do different fix ups and customs and different guys in suit but the pink suit's sick can't wait to do the poly dangerously legends elite fix up drip rollins so i put the battle pack head sculpt on there this one's beautiful i love this one i may have been the first one to do that fix up or at least the first one i i, I may not have been I, I don't know but next up is the wrestlemania 36 seth rollins i think where he took on kevin owens in the monday night messiah all white gear here i just put the elite 86 on there elite 45 parts uh you know put the hairy chest on there very clean very clean white gear i like this one next up is the elite 86 rollins very clean the the Rey mysterio gear in the pink it's, it was more of a purple really but you know we got a few of these in here actually we have a lot of them i might as well knock them all out this is a fix up or this one's not really a fix up i just changed the gloved hand to all black and kept that figure this is a really nice elite i love this elite and then this is a fix up i did with the elite 75 head sculpt and then i put the wrestlemania elite bret hart arms on here to give him double jointed arms with pink and black wrist tape to match the gear i thought that was a pretty sweet fix up over here is just a bonus elite 86 seth rollins it's it's just the same figure without the entrance vest on there and then over here to my left we have i think three different elite 86 rollins that just are missing head sculpts because i took the head off and put it on different fix-ups you'll see in this video so this is a figure i own i want to say seven of there may be one in here somewhere chilling i don't see it right off the bat but it's in here somewhere but this is one of my favorite rollins they've ever done i love this elite moving right along this is a custom we did a few years back i want to say this was survivor series he's got the black gloved hand and then it is the black and the blue metallic attire very clean though i got the dark like the brighter black in the middle there and then the you know the blue going down this was a uh, underrated i don't even remember like why i did this i think it was just like spur of the moment and i was just like you know what i'm making that gear it turned out pretty clean and it's not bad not a bad uh effort there young man we have a few updated rollins or some rollins that are coming out right now i have a lot of these at my walmart i may just go buy them all there's like four of them we have the elite 93 rollins decent head sculpt double joint arms new formula this is when we finally got our new formula for rollins which kind of makes a lot of these figures outdated and if you guys don't know what i'm talking about here's the new formula there's the old formula look how beefier the thighs are he's got the double jointed arms they used to not even give him freaking chest and stomach hair but new kick pad mold these are at this is actually a fix up but the elite 93 rollins is pretty good the head sculpt's a little bit big but it still looks really good and then you have the top talents here which is you know just a repaint there so i think this is his hitman gear based on some like hitman fan art which looks really dope you guys know considering hitman's one of my favorite video game series of all time if not the but we have a couple elite 93 rollins and then we have the top talents from this past year this fix up right here is an elite 37 seth rollins with different black wrist tape arms on and then i did give him open silver knee pads i think from like a neville elite and then i gave him top talents finn balor kick pads to just create this like random fantasy attire and then i put the elite 37 head sculpt on there i like that one kind of outside the box there next up we have the top talents from a few years back it is the x-man gear they left off the x on there i guess but you know same head sculpt uh you know it's the wolverine gear it's got the black and the yellow on there pretty cool it even has sr under here here's what it looks like 
you know, it's got the SR on there, but this is a fix-up that I put Rey Mysterio gloves on, and then I just put some Top Talents arms on there, and then I put uh, just all black lowers on there. It's kind of like a modern take on a, a 2015 Rollins, or, you know, like the singles glove Rollins, but yeah, just a couple elites there. Next up is Elite 37 Seth Rollins, and I did switch out gloved hands again, and then I did give him the Money in the Bank Chase briefcase. This is the mini version. He came with the massive version, but I like this this version. It's way more accurate to what it actually looked like, but there's the Elite 37 with some, you know, minor changes to make that figure better. Next up is a pretty cool one. We have the Monday Night Rollins gear. I think this shirt came with the top talent, Seth Rollins, and then I just put the SummerSlam Elite arms onto the other top talents Rollins. So, this is a whole big conglomeration of different Rollins, but this is what he looked like back. I think this is when he went on his crazy singles run back in 2018. This is what he rocked on a, on a casual Monday night, so I made that fix up. Next up is the Elite 75, and I think I only own two of this figure. I have this version, and then I have this, like, fantasy gear version, which is very weird, but it is the Elite 75 with some Elite 27 Kofi Kingston lower legs and kick pads on here to make orange kick pads with black shoes to tie into the black wrist tape here with the Elite 37 head sculpt. Very, very odd and random fix up, but a very cool one, one that I always get a kick out of, and then you just have the regular Seth Rollins gear. I do believe he won the Royal Rumble in this gear. So he's got the Chicago Bears attire. He is a Bears fan, and this one was pretty cool. We've gotten so many different Rollins, man. They've been dropping the ball, though. I feel like up until the Elite 99, I mean, there's so many gears they could give him, but we haven't gotten them yet. Used to just churn them out and churn them out, and now we're kind of lacking. This right here is a custom made by Angelo, who is GCW's customizer. I have the Beast Slayer shirt on there. This was from WrestleMania at 37 where he captured the Universal Championship and this was before we got the Top Talents figure which I have an absolute just crazy number of. So this is a custom one and then you have all these off screen that I'll bring on here. You have another here. This is the official Mattel. A little bit different there. We also got the entrance vest but they also, what pissed me off is they didn't give him two gold wristbands there. You guys notice the custom's accurate but so I have two of those three of those four of those. Battle Pack head sculpt on there. Looks pretty good there. It's just a fix up. And then another one of those but I did put black gloves on there and then added the Elite 37 head sculpt. The reason I did this is because again it's kind of like a modern take or an updated look gear on the 2015 Rollins so that's why I made that fix up there. But there may be, oh yeah, I think I see one back here. So you're probably wondering MDT why the hell did you buy 17 of these? And the reason was because I went into I think it was either a dirt cheap or a, it may have been a big lots and they had them for like five to ten bucks a piece and when you can get seth rollins elites for five to ten bucks a piece why the hell are you leaving brad you know you're gonna buy them all so that's what i did i went ahead and bought all those rollins and uh again some of these i have a rule on so, uh, on some figures now if they're nice enough it's just you know what i'm not leaving the store without them so sometimes that'll take place but yeah we got all these fan takeover rollins and then we have the custom one thing that is trash is when you get a custom made and then mattel releases an actual version of the attire that's what bums me out. Next up, we have another fantasy gear here. This is an Elite 37 Rollins, Elite 75 head sculpt, Elite 45 arms, Elite 45 kick pads, the basic Thanos gear, SR knee pad, and then an Elite 45 knee pad. This one's very unique. Again, very random, but I think it looks kind of badass from afar. I, I always like this attire. Again, Frankenstein effort thrown together, but it makes for a completely new figure when you, you get all the bells and whistles on there. This one is another cool one. I took some gauntlets. I think from Rey Mysterio, put them on here, took the vest from the Elite 70 Rollins, put it on the top talents, and made like an all black gear with removable gauntlets and an entrance vest. It was a very random idea there, but it makes for a cool fix up and uh, a really cool one. Just a, a random one. You can use that in a fed. You know, it's just a, a crazy random attire for Seth Rollins. Next up is just a regular top talents Rollins. So it's got the, t this is top talents right out of the package, I do believe. No accessories or anything on that guy. We have a I think Money in the Bank 2018 Seth Rollins, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe 2019, but it is, you know, no SR here. It's the belt buckle look, and then it's got the gray and the gold. It's got the knee pads on there painted, all the, the gold that needs to be added, and basically this is a cash-in Seth Rollins Elite, but with chest hair added, it's it doesn't have the gloves. This is a Money in the Bank. It's where, whenever he falls Elias. I think it's 2018 Money in the Bank, if I'm not mistaken. I guess I can go ahead and knock these out since they're right in my 
my face. I have a few Seth Rollins shield figures here without the vest. This is the Elite 31, maybe, I think, or Elite 33, I think. And then you have another one of those. And then finally, you have another one of those. One of these may be, yeah, I think that, I think all three of these are the same Elite. I could be wrong. I want to say they released some other shield in there, but this was a abysmal head sculpt. But it was early on, you know, it was a shield Rollins. Sometimes when you look back at some of those older Mattel head sculpts, they'll make you shake your head. This is also when they were giving him the paler skin tone. So he's come a long way, man. Next up, we have some T. TNF or then now forever elite Seth Rollins right here and they do not have their head sculpts now these are I'm trying to figure out uh I just put some random head sculpts on here but these have like the newer arm joint which is what they had but these look like they're about to fall off so I don't I don't know what's going on with both of these they're kind of weird but the, the then now forever elite came with the screaming head sculpt so I, I don't really know what this is but this is the then now forever like look that shoulder's loose right there I don't know what's going on with this figure but I remember having so I never ever once found Found that then now forever Seth Rollins Elite at retail. To this day, never saw it at retail. Had to purchase it on the aftermarket, do some trades and stuff like that. It was abysmal, but I do miss those sets. Next up, we have another custom fantasy gear here. We actually have a few of those, and I'll bring up all these right here. Uh, yeah, all these right here are all fantasy gear. So this one right here is very cool. This is the top talent Seth Rollins with the smiley head sculpt with Tyson Kidd basic arms, and then I took the knee pad from one of his random basics, uh, uh, Seth Rollins basic. I think it was the WrestleMania 36 basic, maybe, or, or something like that. And then I took some Mustafa Ali kick pads and put them on here. And look at this great attire, man. It looks like that was just, it, it looks like he wore this. This looks like something he would easily wear. And I always thought that that was a really cool gear. The Tyson Kid arms really bring that together. I think we made that on surgery. I'm sure we made all these on surgery, to be honest with you. But then you have another modern style Seth Rollins. You got the cash in Elite with the gold SR knee pad, the WrestleMania 37 elite 57 elite seth rollins arms on there and then just plain black kick pads in the elite 75 head another just random fix up fantasy attire next up is the SummerSlam elite with elite 45 arms the elite 75 head and then we did put buddy murphy elite 72 lower legs and kick pads on here and again man look how cool that is it just again it makes for a cool fix up rollins something you're not gonna see anywhere else and then finally, we have the Elite 45 Rollins, but for some reason, the SR is acetoned off. And then I just put regular black wrist tape arms, the Top Talents head sculpt, the Elite, or uh, no, this is cash-in Elite, Seth Rollins knee pads, and then plain black kick pads. Again, just a random, I I'd like this better if it had chest hair or like the chest hair torso, but it still works for me. All right, man, we're still going. We have the Monday Night Messiah Top Talents Elite fix-up, just a Top Talents Elite, but I did remove the knee pad, and I just put all black. Black, and then I have the gloved hand and the Monday Night Messiah with the Elite 86 head sculpt on there. We have a lot of the Elite 64 Elite, which was a great figure, man. I love the Elite 64. Uh, Elite 64 was one of the best waves, I think, that Mattel's ever done here. But you have a bunch of random fix-ups here to the Elite 64. First up is just, I think this is the standard Elite 64. No, wait, no, it's not. This is, but it does have a head swap. Or did this figure come with... No, it did come like this. It came with plain black wrist tape, and I think this is the figure straight up. So this is the Elite 64 Rollins. Also came with the tag title, I think. I can't remember off the top of my dome we have another elite 64 rollins here just straight off the cuff nothing crazy on that one we have the fix up one which is a lot more accurate it is with the SummerSlam elite arms and then it is the elite 64 and then i put the elite 75 head sculpt on there just to give it a different look then we have the elite 64 rollins with top talents arms on there for a different look and then we have the really cool one which is the elite 86 head with the burn it down shirt that came in the shield three pack i think and it's cool because it's got the burn it down shirt and then you have the burn it down gear and then it has the knee brace on there so that's that's a pretty cool fix up right there i like i like that one a lot elite 86 heads underrated i think our right, man getting into one of my favorite elites that mattel has ever made the elite 45 seth rollins man absolute beastly figure right here it is one that i want them to redo but i want to take you through these fix ups first up we do have the top talents head sculpt i did paint some streak of blonde in there and this is just you know it's a it's a better looking head sculpt than the elite 45 which is this one and i 
I just always like that fix up. So, that, I mean, dude, look how clean. That is just a beautiful looking specimen of a figure. Next up is just for some reason, I, uh, I just love the way the Elite 37 head sculpt looks on the Elite 45 body. And I would like it more if I did have the, the you know, the hairy chest or hairy stomach. It would really add some more depth to it, but I still like it a lot. And then the last two, we have another fix up here. And by the way, this one actually has the then now forever, I think, basic Rollins because it actually has the accurate lines on the on the vest. And then I took the Elite 75 head, painted the blonde streak in there, and then uh, put some open knee pads on there because it's more accurate. So it just kind of makes it, fixes it up a little bit and makes it more accurate to actual time. And then this right here, I put the open knee pads again on there, which is more accurate. And you're probably wondering why he's missing wrist tape is because this is supposed to be his post-match look where he's happy he's celebrating because he won both championships and then he had his right gauntlet fall off. So that's kind of like a defining moment like I talked about in my room tour. It's like a, you know, it's like a defining moment there and he's supposed to be posed with the championships. Next up is a top talent Seth Rollins without any knee pads for some reason, but there's that. We have a couple more Then Now Forever Elites. Actually, this is not a Then Now Forever Elite. And then we have one back here. So this is actually the Shield 3-pack Seth Rollins, but I did take off the head sculpt and put on the Elite 75. So yeah, this is it. This gear always was different. So he actually had two different versions of this gear. He had like the darker gray, which is this one, which is the Then Now Forever, but I did fix up. I took the arms off and put some basic arms on there because that Elite actually came with the newer arm mold and I hated the new arm mold, so I put the older. I took a basic arms off and put that on there, but there's actually two different versions of this. So the lighter gray was more of like the Extreme Rules 2016 return, and then the darker gray was like at a later date. I think when he like won the championship Money in the Bank, I think, those attires were slightly different if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong about that. Next up, we do have some SummerSlam Elites here, which is the red, red pool or the dead pool or the red gear here, kind of mixing all the names together, but lots of different fix-ups here. The first one is just the Top Talents head sculpt on there. This is the OG head. Never liked that head sculpt. I always thought it was abysmal, so I always switch it out every every chance I got. So this actually is just kind of a throwaway figure. I just used some different parts and mixed and matched, and so that's what, you know, came of it here. This is just leftover fodder put together to make a SummerSlam Elite, kind of a random, like, blocky attire, which I don't like. But then we also have the SummerSlam Elite here with the Elite 75 head sculpt instead of the, you know, the, the top talents. And then lastly, we have the SummerSlam Elite with the Elite 86 head sculpt. So again, all three random gears. I, I wish that they would, they need to release a massive pack of Seth Rollins Elites, all his older Elites, just with the new formula and, like, updated head sculpts. I'd pay good money for that pack. I'd pay, I'd pay 200 bucks for that pack, maybe even more. More. Oh, look, I found two more Elite 86 fix-ups. We have the Top Talents head sculpt on the Elite 86 pink gear, and then we have the Elite 75 head sculpt on the Elite 86 gear, and then we switched out the glove tan there because for some reason Mattel gave him black glove tans, but they had the skin tone peg. So this one actually has the full black, you know, black glove there because I switched out the, the glove tan. Next up is one of the worst Rollins customs. Actually, this is two of the worst I ever did, man. This is the WrestleMania 34 Rollins. It even has the blue contacts in there. You probably can't see it that good, but I used the Then Now Forever Seth and then just made his, you know, his WrestleMania 34 gear. It's still a figure we've never gotten from Mattel in elite figure form, but it doesn't look half bad, especially from far away, but the grays are really nice, and uh, that was a fun one to make. And then we also have the, uh, I made this like the night of the Royal Rumble, or maybe shortly thereafter, but it is a custom hand-painted Seth Rollins from Royal Rumble, which we obviously got from Mattel later on, but this is, this is that one. Don't like that figure, honestly. Except is the Elite 70 Seth Rollins. I did break the I did break the vest off, and you guys saw it on that, you know, that fix-up Elite, but there's the Shield Rollins. Next up, we have the Elite 57 Rollins. We have a few of these here, and again, it's like pre-match, post-match, and then we have like a fix-up here, so this is pre-match here. He's, you know, on stage with the, with the torch and everything like that. I have the knee brace on there, and then I think I even added, yeah, I even added open knee pads because it's more accurate. Put the knee brace on there, and then this is post-match when he had no gauntlet it's on. He was smiling because he won, and then he had, you know, Triple Edge's sledgehammer, open knee pads, and the knee brace. So those are two kind of defi defining moments figures there. And then lastly, we do have the Elite 75 fix-up. There was like a, a thing where I just updated all my figures with Elite 75 head sculpts, and they don't look bad. Even though the gold on this figure is not very accurate, they're, they're not terrible figures. Moving right along, we do have another defining moments here. This is when he actually captured the money in the bank, so I put the Elite 52 head sculpt on there. I did paint blonde in there. Gave him the gloved sculpted hands here, like the you know, the sculpted glove hands. This was before interchangeable hands. Painted the belt buckle on there because that's not, that is the accurate belt buckle and then gave him the, you know, the smaller money in the bank briefcase. There's actually multiple Rollins from around this 
era. Here's a variant of his gear that was actually black with gray details. So again, gloved hands for, for accuracy, vest, money in the bank briefcase, and then uh, I did paint up the gear there to make it accurate. Then we have the regular Elite 37, but again, I painted the belt buckle logo on there, which we still haven't gotten from Mattel. Before he had the SR on there, he did have like the belt buckle look like this. So I just painted that on there, and then I added sculpted glove hands again. And then we have another Rollins from around this era, which is the, you know, it's a it's a pretty much a revamp of the cash-in Rollins. So I took the cash-in Rollins, gave him the sculpted, actually, also, I forgot I beefed up all the arms. These all had, like, super skinny arms. So I gave him the beefier, more accurate arms, sculpted glove hands, and then I put on open knee pads to make that more accurate, and then added chest hair. So we did a lot there. We really fixed them up and made them more accurate and made them look much better. I think I did that, like, years ago, though, man. But all these look really good up on the shelf next to each other. If I had this one on display right here on, like, a D-top, I'd probably put him on top of a ladder, obviously, because he was winning the money in the bank. Could honestly update all these again. Give them double jointed arms, you know, gloved hands, put actual chest hair, torsos on there. I mean, there's some different stuff that we could do for sure. Next up is another fix up slash custom. I painted the knee pads here to give him the most accurate look. So this is kind of like an extreme rules return Rollins. He just needs the SR shirt, but that's practically what that is. We have the Elite 25 Seth Rollins, his first Elite ever. Good God, what happened to the neck? Look at that. Jesus, he's missing a whole chunk out of his neck, but that's his first Elite that we got from Mattel. We got some Elite 52 and Top Talents fix-ups right here. This is actually like the last few here rounding out the collection, but this video is much longer than I expected, but you have the Elite 52 fix-up with the Top Talents or not not the Top Talents, the Fan Takeover or Elite 75 head sculpt. You have the Elite 52 with some skinny Elite 37 arms on here. There's the arms that they give him, or they gave him, I should say. It's like the skinny arms with the, with the gloved hands. It's just kind of a random thing I did. You have the regular Elite 52 here. Nothing changed about that one, and then we have the Top Talents Elite, which did have the SummerSlam head sculpt that was similar to this on there, but I put the smiley head sculpt on there because it looks really good, but it's his SummerSlam 2016 gear where he took on Finn Balor, or maybe it's 2017. And then we have a custom Monday Night Rollins gear where I did paint it up. I even hand painted that SR logo, which looks like trash, but I just held on to it for sentimental value. We have his NXT gear, which definitely needed fix-ups. I switched out the thighs because they were gigantic. This is way more accurate, and then he also had ginormous arms, and so I switched those out with smaller arms there to make it more accurate again. I hate that head sculpt though. I'd like to switch that, but it, it kind of fits a young Rollins. And then the last elite that we have is his Slammy Award winning, you know, torn ACL elite here where he has won the Slammy. He's got the full black suit on. He's smiling. And uh, it was, you know, when he was battling, trying to rehabilitate his knee. He's got the knee brace, the crutch, and the Slammy Award in the all black suit. Mercilessly, we are finally done with the Seth Rollins collection. I want you guys to look at this. Look at all this. Look at all these Seth Rollins elites, man. Absolutely ridiculous. How many did we get to? I don't even know how many there were, but I wanted to make this video because I wanted to bring back the collection videos, but tons of Seth Rollins and we're only getting more. I know it's, I want to say it's close to 100. It may be like in the 70s, maybe in the 80s. I don't know, but I think I put all of them in here. I don't, I don't think I left out a single Seth Rollins. I left out plenty of basics, but as far as elite Seth Rollins are concerned, this is all of them, but that is going to wrap up the video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you think of the Rollins collection. Which Rollins Elite is your personal favorite or your favorite from this video? Let me know all those things down in the comment section below, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. We'll never